Okay, so apologies for my disheveled look, uh, uh, but I've this this I've had this idea ever since that disastrous uh, Halo TV series came out. Um, as a long time old school Halo fan um, of the primarily the first three uh, Halo games. Uh, just how how to do it just like better than what these people did and i know that sounds you know arrogant but like a lot of people didn't like it like and i i i didn't even watch it but i i watched reviews of it and it it, it sounds terrible like it, it sounds awful um so yeah like it in my opinion the, the best way to do a halo just to do it justice like to do the original games justice like particularly the first two like they were these huge you know events like that you know the first halo game was shipped with the xbox like and, and so everyone had played it just about and halo 2 was like the fastest media selling media product of its time when it came out um so a big a big feature film like in theaters like a big event would be the best way to do halo justice in my view a big two and a half hour two hour long uh film uh uh as as a one big film taking place over the course of the first two or three halo games uh and for halo lore nerds out there y'all are aware that the that the the first three games take place over the course of like what was it like two weeks three weeks something like that or like a month or three months i can't remember uh but like that 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 could be contained like there's a way to do that in the span of like one big two and a half hour movie um but yeah like i'd mainly tell the halo one story through flashbacks like you have like a an opening cut scene with uh an opening scene uh with um a flashback to the battle of alpha halo and you know master chief is you know doing his thing like 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 uh covertly like like studying some covenant troops before sniping them and like moving in further for the kill and then like something terrible happens and then like he he is awoken from cry or he's like awoken from like a like a daydream or like a like a thought like a deep thought like and it's like you know the the gunnery sergeant at the beginning of halo 2 like you with me son you know or something like that and and he'd, he'd be like yeah or something like that you know like master chief like his his, his whole style uh but yeah and like i i wouldn't change anything about the, the the story like how the the story progressed like i mean obviously you'd have to change some things like because it's a it's a not a, a you can't make it like a blow for blow uh uh game to screen cutscene to scene adaptation like that would be boring but like the core story there's nothing wrong with it like the the first three halo games like halo halo 1 is is good like it it it, it hooks you and then like that scene that that level with the with the flood and then you know, it, it hooks you, like, you know, it keeps you going, and Halo 2 is the same way, but even better, because it's got, like, this wide array of, of characters, and, and, uh, different plot lines, and, and character development, and, and, like, just the character design itself, like, right down to Tartarus's mohawk, like, it's, like, it's the shit, like, the, the story of Halo 2 is, like, the best of the entire series, Although overall my favorite game is the first one, but the story in Halo 2 is perfect, like right down to the cliffhanger in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, uh, and Halo 3 is good too. 
Um, I don't I don't personally rate it as high as the first two Halo games, but it's still an objectively good game uh, and good story. Um, so I wouldn't change anything about that either. Um, but I'd, I'd maybe save it in Halo Four for a sequel. And, and Halo Four is where I would change things about the game and the and do it differently in the film adaptation and literally the the first thing that comes to mind is the didact and how that whole villain arc needed to be needed to have more of a build-up and halo 4 handled it so poorly they just like throw this new this new villain you've never seen before at, right at you with no build up to it like nothing like it like they could have done it so much better like it, it, just using one of my favorite films alien as an example like it, there's a build up like the there's this ominous atmosphere and this 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 strange world that they that they set down on after they're woken up from from cryostasis and they're sent down to this strange alien world and and one of the first thing this isn't like this isn't until like 30 minutes into the movie and then like this guy just like looks into an egg an, an egg-like thing he doesn't know it's an egg but and then it it well, if you've seen the movie, you know what happens. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's a build-up, and it starts off in its larval stage, and then it changes into uh, the the embryo that, that bursts through Kane's chest, and, and at that point, we're like halfway through the movie, and we haven't even seen the full the full-grown alien. We don't even, if you haven't seen the movie, you don't even know that there's going to be a full-grown alien. Um... I don't know, like, I, I grew up watching the Alien movie, so I can't recall, like, what it was like the first time I saw it, but, um, yeah, there needed to be more build-up to that villain, like, it could have worked, like, the, the, the didact could have worked as a villain, but at, in his, in his current form, like, that we see him in, in Halo 4, he is just, like, a pretty flat antagonist like he he you know has this you know typical mustache twirling villain thing going on you know like what if he was a silent antagonist the way master chief is a silent protagonist like that could have also worked like having this like silent menacing entity just like destroying everything in his path and you know Master Chief gets his ass kicked, and, like, he has to, you know, get better to, to overcome this, to overcome this, uh, foe, um, uh, but more than that, there needed to be some sort of, there needed to be some sort of connection linking the two, like, even down to his, I mean, the entire way they redesigned the Forerunners in Halo 4 from the first three Halo games is, in my opinion, just tragic. It, it a lot of it looks nothing like Forerunner technology. Like it, it looks like some. It kind of looks like a a kind of like a Halo ripoff version of an alien species that, civilization that I had an idea for and still have an idea for um, in my own work. But it it. it an early version of it anyway but the point is is that this this shit does not look like forerunner technology and it it doesn't look i could go on and on bottom line is bring redesign the for the film or its sequel the forerunners to be more like the forerunners of the first three halo games um and um yeah, I, I I totally redesigned the whole the whole didact relationship um, with Master Chief, uh, and probably cut out that that him being the chosen one kind of stuff. Like that doesn't need to be in the in the in the film, in my opinion. Um, that's just an overused, tired cliche, and it, it doesn't add anything to the story. Um, 
you can still have the librarian in there but definitely have some build up to these characters like and i i definitely wouldn't have him killed off screen like the way they do it in the comic books that's also bad uh, that you know that you just brought this character you know into in, into a game and you completely like designed him and fleshed out you know his this his story and the lore and like and you didn't even use him like you just you know threw him away and, you know so obviously halo 5 is just also bad like i liked that there was you know other main characters but these these characters were rather flat with the exception of buck um, I, w I always like Buck when he shows up in a Halo game, um, but, uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know where to begin with Halo 5, um, and Halo Infinite is bad, too, uh, yeah, the, the Halo story is kind of screwed up, uh, and I'd like to see a film, of, or a film series that corrects this error. Um, uh, I, I think that a, a good Halo movie, Halo film, uh, would would help the Halo series out a lot. Um, and that's you know that's basically it. See you guys.